Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, let me say welcome uh, for uh, what will be a very, very exciting announcement that our great governor, Governor Rendell, will be making uh, in a few minutes. And while it might be a little bit of cloudy activity going on outside and even a little bit of rain, let me assure you uh, that uh, here and with this announcement today, uh, there will be much sunshine uh, in uh, Philadelphia. Uh, that's because our great city is positioning itself to become one of the great global cities of this century. Today, when people talk about oil production in America, uh, they often think about Texas or Alaska or other states around the country. Well, in years to come, when people think about clean energy and solar power, they're going to be thinking about Philadelphia and the Philadelphia region uh, because of things that we're doing in our great city. In part, uh, this is happening uh, because of GreenWorks Philadelphia, our long-term strategy to make Philadelphia the number one green city in America. Last week, as many of you know, I announced that Philadelphia will receive $30 million in federal recovery funding to weatherize thousands of homes and create hundreds of new jobs in our city. We focus on energy reduction as a part of our city government strategy uh, to be more energy efficient. Uh, but today, uh, the governor uh, is going to be uh, making this announcement and has been leading the way about clean energy and uh, alternative energy issues. More than a year ago, Governor Rendell signed a visionary piece of legislation creating a $650 million fund to spur renewable energy development and conservation. We're here at the Navy Yard. Uh, we're seeking to have our Navy Yard be a clean energy campus. Uh, not just for the city, not just for the state, uh, but for the United States of America. And we have the land to do it. We have a plan to make it happen. We have the resources and the people. And a great team assembled uh, in partnership between the city and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and so many agencies, whether it's PIDC, our own Commerce Department, and many others uh, in this uh, partnership. And so uh, as I uh, introduce uh, the governor, I also want to thank Select Greater Philadelphia, who worked very, very hard with the governor's office and his team, our team at Commerce and PIDC, and a number of other partners uh, leading up to today's announcement. And so please welcome Governor Ed Rendell, the energy governor of the United States of America, who's going to be making a big announcement uh, that uh, will, should put a smile on a whole lot of folks' faces. Governor Rendell. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mayor, and it's a pleasure to be here. And let me say that, uh, and I'll get into the nuts and bolts in a minute, but the city has been a tremendous, and PIDC has been a tremendous partner in making this project happen. And uh, the Mayor deserves tremendous uh, credit for, number one, his long-term vision to make Philadelphia a hub of green energy, and number two, for filing to increase the Keystone Opportunity Zone benefits for the undeveloped part of the Philadelphia Naval Business Center through 2025. Local governments under the statute that we passed had that option. Some availed themselves of that opportunity, some extended for a shorter period of time. The city took advantage of the maximum extension allowable, and that has created the, uh, a strong sense of economic viability for the Naval Business Center as a place for businesses to locate. Um, the city's strategy is probably best seen to be paid off here in the Navy Yard. There are a lot of startup energy companies right here already. One example is Lightpod Inter Incorporated, a four-year-old company that manufactures solid state lighting devices. Not too far away, a team of engineers at the Naval Ship Systems Engineering Station is working to develop hydro fuel, hydrogen fuel cells as a viable technology. This is just one of the leading edge energy projects that are happening here at the Navy Yard. And today I'm very proud to announce that the Heliosphera USA will invest $500 million and create at least 400 high paying jobs by opening a new thin film solar panel module manufacturing facility right here at the Navy Yard. Once this facility is up and running. This plan expects to produce enough thin film solar modules annually to produce 160 megawatts of electricity. Although these panels will be marketed for commercial use, to give you a frame of reference and to put this number in context, 160 megawatts generate enough power to serve more than 20,000 homes. 
This project means a great deal for the city and the Commonwealth in terms of new jobs and of a sizable investment that, we're, that is being made here.